Hello, my name is Kate Waters. I'm the Executive Director of Crude Accountability, a human rights and environmental nonprofit organization that works in the Caspian Basin in communities that are impacted by oil and gas development. We are also a founding member of the Prove They Are Alive campaign, which since 2013 has documented, monitored, and advocated on the issue of enforced disappearances in Turkmenistan. This is the issue that I want to focus on today, which is based on the recommendations and on the statement that the crude accountability submitted to the UPR earlier this year. For two decades, Turkmenistan has used enforced disappearances as a, as a systemic means of torture and intimidation of its citizens. The Prove They Are Alive campaign has documented 162 cases of enforced disappearances in Turkmenistan. And I want to underscore that this is not a historic practice, but rather one that continues to the present day. Of the 162 individuals who have been forcibly disappeared, 96 are considered by the Prove They Are Alive campaign to be cases of continued disappearances. That is ongoing right now. We know that 29 individuals have died in custody. We know that 10 have been released. And we know that 30 continue to serve their sentences, but are no longer considered forcibly disappeared because they receive food parcels and family visitation. Very disturbingly, of these cases of ongoing disappearances, 32 of the 96 current cases include individuals who have served their full prison sentences, but have not been released and continue to be forcibly disappeared in the Turkmenistan prison system. Where are these people? And why have they not been released? Since the, uh, the previous, the third cycle of the UPR, the Working Group on Enforced Disappearances has issued three communications to the government of Turkmenistan regarding cases of enforced disappearances. And I wanna describe them very briefly. In 2018, the Working Group on Enforced or Involuntary Disappearances issued a communication about the case of Anna Murad Adayev, who was forcibly disappeared in December 2016 for alleged membership in an Islamic extremist group after he refused to inform the government of Turkmenistan about the activities of his fellow students at the university where he was studying in Egypt. His wife, Daria Adayeva, a Russian citizen, attempted to see her husband in prison, but was denied access. She faced reprisals later from the Russian authorities and was forced to flee Russia and is now seeking asylum. In 2019, the Working Group on Enforced or Involuntary Disappearances issued a communication regarding the alleged enforced disappearances and deaths in custody of at least 27 individuals due to torture, inhumane treatment, degrading detention conditions, and denial of medical assistance in the Turkmen prison system, in particular at the maximum security prison of Adan Depe. The communication regarded 121 cases, which was what the Prove They Are Alive campaigns list was at that point, of enforced disappearances in Turkmenistan and 27 related deaths since 2006. Among these is the case of Ogul Supar Muradova, a human rights defender who was forcibly disappeared in June of, 20, of 2006. Ms. Muradova died in custody, allegedly of torture, although the government of Turkmenistan denied any wrongdoing. In 2018, the UN Human Rights Committee found the government of Turkmenistan responsible for the torture and death in custody of Ms. Muradova. As recently as March 2, 2023, so this year, the government of Turkmenistan, in official dialogue with the UN Human Rights Committee, stated that Ms. Muradova had committed suicide in prison. And thirdly, in 2021, the working group, again, on enforced and involuntary disappearances, in tandem with the working group on arbitrary detention, the special rapporteur on the situation of human rights defenders, and the special rapporteur on promotion and protection of the right to freedom of opinion and expression, issued a communication to the Turkmen government concerning the case of Mr. Norgeldi Halikov, a journalist and human rights defender who was disappeared in July, 2020. 
More details about these cases and others can be found in our written submission, which you have. Um, but I want to close my comments today um, to highlight the recommendations that the Crude Accountability made with its submission earlier this year for the government of Turkmenistan. One, immediately and unconditionally release those prisoners who have completed their terms and offer reparations to them and their families. Secondly, immediately and unconditionally cease the practice of enforced disappearances, allowing prisoners visitation, receipt of letters and packages, access to medical care, and access to legal counsel in line with the amended criminal code of pr criminal procedure and obligations undertaken by Turkmenistan within the Universal Periodic Review. If any individual in the disappeared list has died, family members should be provided with the death certificate and the location of the remains. Fourth, provide immediate access to Turkmen prisons, including high security of Adan Depe, for independent observers such as the ICRC, relevant mandate holders of UN special procedures, human rights NGOs, and other authoritative international bodies such as the OSCE ODIR, and facilitate a visit by the UN Special Rapporteur on Torture, the Working Group on Arbitrary Detention, and the Working Group on Enforced or Involuntary Disappearances. Five, immediately initiate judicial reviews of all the court cases of the disappeared in light of the 2010 amendments to the Criminal Code, allowing international monitors to observe the proceedings. Six, acknowledge the cases of Ogul Suparmuradova, Batir Berdiev, Rustem Jumayev, Serdar Rahimov and Boris Shikhmuradov as cases of enforced disappearance. Bring the ruling on Ms. Muradova's death by the Turkmenistani government into agreement with the ruling of the Human Rights Council in 2018, acknowledging responsibility for it and retracting the statement that Ms. Muradova's death was a suicide. The government of Turkmenistan should also conduct an immediate and impartial investigation into those cases raised by the Working Group on Enforced or Involuntary Disappearances and resume dialogue with the Working Group on these cases and all others. And finally, immediately abolish the 2003 decree of the Halkh Maslahati, the People's Council, on high treason, which introduced imprisonment for life as a punishment for treason. This decree contradicts the 2010 Criminal Code. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.